so in this tutorial we are going to solve the problem by using matlab uh, here is one expression you can see x plus 2y plus 3z is equals to 1 3x plus 3y plus 4z equals to 1 and uh, 2x plus 3y plus 3z equals to 2 so just writing in a matrix form a equals to bracket just writing the integer only 1 2 3 and semicolon 3 3 and 1 4 again 2 3 and 3 right and b also same in this way and this is uh, 1 semicolon 1 semicolon 2 closing the brackets okay now c equals to a by a slash b which is while we, we need to print on the command window right so for that f print f in bracket the value is so for that which means percentage d and putting here the c for getting the uh, input in that line to be displayed okay now executing it by pressing f5 so here's the answers minus 5 1.5 and minus 5 so you can, you can see while this we can solve the problem we can change the values also like let's take a 78 executing it you get the different values that's a simple rule okay again we are going to solve the one expression so you can see y1 equals to 2 cos of x y2 equals to cos x y3 equals to 0.5 cos of x so here you can see that is a given is limit 0 less than equal to x less than equals to 2, 2 pi okay so in this we are going to plot the graph using this uh, matlab okay so for for plot, plotting graph we need to first write this equations in matlab in simplest way like uh, y1 equals to 2 into cos of x right and y3 equals to zero point five into cos of x right and for plotting the graph we use the command called plot 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 and then bracket so here is one thing you can you need to understand that we are plotting the graph between x and y axis right so x comma y one for for here x is remain constant right and y one y2 y3 are the parameters which are going to change right for y1 and uh, comma so for that we need three lines means we get the three lines now so for that we are using the different different line types for that we are using this symbols called this double minus sign okay then comma x comma y2 right comma so for next line we use only one minus sign and for um, x comma y3 we are going to use this sign called hyphen right and we are now we are going to label the uh, x and y axis right for x we should write the limit like uh, 0 to 2 pi right so for that x label is uh, another command it that you can use here in bracket 0 is one thing you can use slash then for less use l for equal use eq okay less equals to 
x slash again then less equals to 2 slash pi right so by this we can display this on the x axis right F similarly for y we having the cosine functions there right so we write in the cosine functions and uh, now we need to show display the line type for the function so we at the corner of the graph right corner of the graph we need to label the things so for that we, we use another command known as legend right in bracket just writing the expression 2 into 2 cos of x right for that uh, s system get automatically the, the type of the line which is displayed you can see further as I'm going to show you at the last cos x and same for that also 2 commas and last 0 0.5 into cos of x right now showing a title at the at the top of the graph writing the typical way or example of multiple plots right as you have three functions here we can plot the three graphs right it will display at the top now if you are talking about graph then we need a scale for that we need only axis called command called axis we can put the um, what say we can, we can put the scales like for x we have 0 to 2 pi right and for y axis we have minus 2 to plus 2 you can take anything okay it's upon you so for better approach to the problem we use the scale minus 2 to plus 2 okay further one thing we need to add here is the for clearing the command window and the workspace we need to write this right by this the program is totally executable now going for the plotting the graph by running it run and time sorry let's just press the f5 button so here it is it's showing some error let's check okay we we haven't defined the x here so just defining the x as x equals to 0 colon pi by 100 colon um, 2 into pi right so x ranges from 0 to 2 pi and p pi by 100 is the no the bars is it get divided after executing that thing so you get the better values by this right you have you also learned in the python is you if you, if you remember this thing okay so now executing it here it is you can see the graph is shown up here right so this is the cosine functions all three right you can see also so this lines right and showing the legend at the right corner right the x-axis all all is fine here you can also rotate here right this is the basic of MATLABs okay so hope you like it and thank you